Okay. Hello. Yo, what up, what up, What's what up? On? We are here with Ultimania starting it off with some doubles. It is I, the Great Plan BC, joined by the beautiful Exiles. We're already getting into the, sure the math, man. Who yeah, got? so we have so we have Mook and Bobby Wasabi for Red Team with Gamer Watch and Villager. And we have uh, Sharp and Lil Dan, uh, blue team with uh, Lucina and Lucario. And both these teams are actually pretty good. I know they're very familiar with teaming with each other. And uh, I know Sharp and Lil Dan have been like Entarps in like a few of his teams. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's sick. They're actually not bad. Lil Dan is like super good at like stock tanking and being able to play like very passive and keep away. Yeah, I mean, just even thinking about it, Lucario and doubles has always just kind of been a thing, right? Where he yeah. kind of does what he wants. Of course, Sharp, on the other hand, uh, Sharp is kind of new to me, actually. I, it, up until, what, like Thursday night fights? Maybe not this week, but the week before? Where he got, like, right? That was Sharp, right? With the Sheik and the yeah, uh, like, so second? Yeah, in, in Smash 4, he was uh, he was Sharp the Duck. That was his full tag. And oh, he God, played, that's terrible. Okay. He played Sheik, Diddy, and he, he was, like, pretty good in Smash 4. He'd be, like, uh, craft this pug, Koga. But like he, he pretty much quit like near the end of the game, and now he's back. He's being laid. He's being pug. He's being uh, Kraftus a few times, and now he plays Lucina Wolf and Sheik. He still plays Sheik now. Can Sheik up up? Yeah. And yeah. pretty good job for himself here. We're watching Bob Wasabi, of course, uh, in recent memory. I feel like the most notable thing is that he did get that win on Void yeah. at Pound 2019. Comes here trying to make a splash in doubles. And of course, Mook is just Mook, man. Like, I suppose. Mook, is, Mook really is Mook. Mook Steiner himself for the wrestling tournament. It's made for him. But I think right now, this is actually, this is pretty close. This is way closer than I thought it would be. Uh, the F-Smash is going to take, take that first stock from Bobby. But otherwise, it's, it's pretty close right now. I think uh, I think if they take one stock from uh, Mook, it'll be looking a little harder. Yeah, granted. Uh, Bobby Wasabi is, is pretty low here. We have all three stocks sitting on a sharp though, and that's kind of a uh, making me a little perturbed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not where you want to be. Oh my god. Oh, this is. It's a hard position to be in because now he can kind of just like he's he can risk a stock to take another person's stock so they can just trade and it'll work out for him. Ah, uh, that was yeah. good. You know, finally goes out, but Lucina is yeah. one of those characters who has. Uh, one of the easiest times going off stage and threatening people. Very strong recovery, very strong uh, disjointed hitboxes that she can throw off stage to go ahead and put on the pressure. So we see Sharp doing a whole lot of that. And we're getting down to some of the final stocks here uh, for the red team, but even we're seeing Lil Dan on his final stock as well. So this is close as it really gets, especially for a you know winner's round two. <laughs> yeah, this is this is super close right now. I think uh they, they have to start making quick work of Lil Dan and get his stock off because he's definitely uh he he's 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 there. He's there and he's kind of oh with that smash. He almost had a fully charged one, imagine. Yeah, that's just oh. gonna be the stock there. And there that goes. And now it's a uh, move with two stocks, uh three stocks to one. Yeah, and I mean Mook, I mean he's he's not making this comeback. I, I don't think it's, it's possible. Very hard. Um but you know, Game and Watch, pretty light character, is gonna be hard, especially uh Play like Sharp over there, can go ahead and keep threatening space. He's gonna use a lot of those forward airs because probably one of the best offense he has in a 2v1. Yeah. Oh, and he actually Game and Watch honestly has a lot of like. Game and Watch can play a really good keep away and just like uh, play a really good camping game and be able to play around them. Like with uh, Uppy as soon as you hit his shield and then fair and then just. He has a lot of options to just try to play around two people. Oh, this is doable. And kind of. Not even going to take the stock because he knows at this point that uh, Sharp can do it himself. Oh my god! How did he not break Play, the Playing with a Skittle, playing with a Pebble. Yeah, he knows that uh, Sharp should be able to do it on his own and he didn't want to risk the 2v1 because Game Watch actually does really well versus Lucario. And with differences to both characters in this game, I think Game Watch still really bodies uh, Lucario. But oh god. Look, oh. Let's come back. It's definitely. Oh. oh my god. That could have really almost oh. had it. He's racking up that damage. That's the thing, man. Yeah. A Lucina really can just kind of ignore the forward air a lot. She can just kind of mm -hmm. swat at it, beat it out. So it's up to Mook to kind of try and space it. Oh, or uh, just kill himself. That's cool too. Yeah, game one. That's unlucky. He. That's the thing with Mook. He tries to do a lot of like the super low recoveries. He's out of upy. You can air dodge up, but he just uh, he definitely misspaced it there. But I think um, that comeback was super doable. I mean, yeah. Just imagine if he got a nine instead of what he got like an eight or yeah, something. Yeah, he got an eight. And the thing is, like, the one of the problems with Sharp that I notice a lot, he plays like Lucina, and he's 
very oppressive heavy, and he's just going to keep swinging at you until it hits you. But Game & Watch just has the options to, as soon as you hit his shield, it's going to be an uppy that you can't do anything about right. every single time. And he was making work of it, too, because as soon as he got the uppy, he was able to get fair, get up air, and like start putting on the percent. And then as soon as he hits like 70 80%, that's down smash, up smash for you. And it, it, it's kind of rough to deal with. Um, you know, Game & Watch, I, I feel like, I don't even know, between Villager and Game & Watch, which one you really want doing a 2v1. I mean, ideally, you just don't want the scenario at all. Um, but, you know, it looks like Bobby and Mook are talking it out. Going to see if they're going to try to change for Game 2. Uh, Shrap and Lil Dan. <laughs> Mook really didn't want to do the mid-game fist bump there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, that's, you know, there's different philosophies on it. I'm not really super about it. Uh, but I feel like, especially when I go to the locals, that tends to be a thing I end up encountering quite often. Yeah. Uh, but, it happens. Uh, going into game two, they're going to Smashville. They're opting for a, a smaller stage uh, as opposed to town, which is the biggest. Uh, I think this could definitely work out for Red Team much better this game because now Game Watch can kill even earlier. But he missed the down smash to F smash there. He had it, and uh, Lil, Din's, uh, Lil Din's mash on it just wasn't that good. But, uh, they're, they're actually making quick work of Lil Din right now and, and uh, Sharp. That could just be the stock. Oh, yeah, that's no, just the stock ooh. with the drag down back air. Nice. And he has the bomb at ledge. Oh. oh, he wanted the dare. Yeah, he definitely definitely just mistimed that one. You see, uh, you know, he's throwing out that bucket as well to try and absorb uh, any kind of projectile that we may see from Lodan. Um, maybe even Marvel Sabi, probably that Floyd Rocket can probably absorb as well, I'd imagine. Um, but, you know, with that said, a Red Team is looking healthy. Both uh, members looking fully stocked with lives here. Oh, there he goes again. That's two stocks from Sharp. That's just two really early stocks from Sharp. So that's that's definitely not what you want to see if you're blue team right now. But they're up a game, luckily, so they could definitely make it back. Wow. He, he countered the game watch up smash, but there's still invul on it. Wow. What just happened? Yeah. Wow, stock and another stock is gone. Uh, the, the blue team is suffering. Sharp already yeah. having to borrow a stock from Loban. And, and just look, finally the first stock of the red team going down, but yeah. five stocks to two. Lil Dan and Sharp have their work cut out for them. We're going to the game here. Oh, no, he did again. <laughs> Out of six, Sharp used four stocks and essentially wow. did nothing with them. To yeah, be honest. Sharp really didn't even exist this game. That's super, that, he's dead. Oh, he wanted the nine for that one. Oh, there it is. Yeah, a little late. No, they're definitely just pressing the buttons now. They they know that this is uh, super confirmed. So, uh, what do you think about game three? <laughs> yeah, had the counter. Yeah, the X for the yeah, walkback. Yeah, I mean, game three. Um, yeah, that was a... <laughs> look at them, dude. Look at, look at Bobby Wasabi. Yeah. They're cheesing beyond belief. Yeah. They're like, they know they just did some grimy. Some grimy. Bobby's on the fat ego chip right now. Yeah, He's I know, like, dude. Bro, what did he even drop? Oh, is that that shirt from Steelix? Steelix? What's, Steelix? what's the link? Do you know the link off the top of your head? Uh, I, I owe something. It's just yeah, it's something like that. Uh, Steelix.io or... <laughs> Steelix are one, though. But no, um, honestly, yeah. I just peeped the the shirt. Steelix shirt. Town F. Town F shirts. Yeah, the 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 clan made by Lil Dan himself for CT and then Sharp with the Town F. Town F. Town F. They play a lot of Town of Salem or Mafia or something. Yeah, they do a they do a good amount of Town of Salem. Uh, it's a great game. <laughs> great game. <laughs> but for game three, uh, they're definitely gonna have to see some changes. Sharp was definitely getting. Super oppressed off stage every single time by Mook, because that's that's one of Game Watch's like really good things about his kit is that back air is way better than Smash Four. You don't fall out of it anymore. You chep him every single time. Yeah, and that's another thing as well. Um, oh, the stage bands. Okay. Ah, oh, all right. So we have the FD ban. We have the Town ban. Uh, now they're gonna uh, red team gonna blue team gonna choose the stage. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm wondering here where they're gonna end up going. I mean, just looking at it. Uh, I really don't know what, what the ideal spot to go. I mean, PS2 is always a fine spot. I think Kalos is going to be their play because uh, I know Villager doesn't do too well on Kalos because it's super spread out and the tree on the platform kind of messes up the like uh, edge guard for it off stage. I see. So uh, did they change a ban to? It went from banning t uh, talent to banning PS2. So I think we're going to see a big stage. If Town and Kalos are still on the table, it's going to be one of those two, I think. I don't think they're going to want to go to another small stage because uh, they just died super early to it. With, uh, at least on a big stage, they have enough room to play around on. Yeah, which is kind of strange as well. It's not like Villager and Game Watch are particularly aggressive characters. Uh, you know, 
both kind of sit back, do their thing. You see forward air, forward air, forward air from Game Watch. Uh, same thing from kind of Villager doing forward airs and back air, just kind of trying to space you out. Um, but it seems like they, they just had an easy time getting Sharp off stage and then just gimping him, whether it was with a you know, multi-hit or a nair or something from Bobby Wasabi. Yeah. We just kept finding Sharp off stage. But, but in, in that game one, he was looking strong. So yeah. I just kind of imagine that you know he called it, right? We're going to Kalos here. Uh, yeah. Game three on Kalos, and we have the wolf change. So this way, he can hopefully try to deal with these projectiles better uh, with the reflector. He, and there's a, lot of, there's a lot of projectiles from red team. Uh, Villager alone has like four, so uh, so I'm definitely interested to see, see this pick as well. I think uh, it could have been a scary pick though because now he gets he gets bodied off stage even more now, right? Because of his bad recovery. But and I'm interested. Now, the one thing that Sharp does have is, uh, is kind of some. Not to say that Lucina doesn't have kill confirmed, because she does. She does have a tech chase setup that will lead to F match like that. Oh wow, I'm surprised it didn't kill him from yeah. there. Um, but he will have that ability to just kind of throw out some rogue forward smashes, some rogue down smashes, and that back air kind of just throughout the neutral game to try and just force out some defensive options, maybe get a quick early kill if someone is caught on Ooh, that was a nice F smash to just catch that landing, honestly. You just roll, turn, turn around and just hit him with it, trying to land behind him. Oh my god, the counter coming out. Of course, the double team from Lil Dan. Not going to be triggered though, no one actually hitting Lil Dan. She can charge up that Aura Spear on the side here. Looks like she's content, just kind of setting up shop. Beautiful Aura yeah. Spear to connect to the dome of Mook there. I'm surprised he didn't just go for the uh, the bucket, but... Yeah, he, he, I'm pretty sure he already has a two bucket right now. He just definitely wants a, he wants a big hit for that last bucket. And down smash, F smash, going to take the stock into uh, Force Palm, going to take Mook stock. And I love how the entire screen changes color with that. <laughs> You're just like, whoa, what's going on? Like, Too was, many things happening, I can't see. Especially in doubles. Yeah. You got colors all around. But yeah. even with that said, you know, they're kind of separating us from all 1v1s right here. We've seen so many down smashes from Mook Connect. He's yeah. really just throwing them out, and I don't blame him. The yeah. amount of success he's finding is just immaculate. Down smash is super good. It's, if you're not expecting it, and you're, you don't space it properly, and oh you hit a shield, God. you can just do another one. That's the thing right there. We did see uh, Mook went for the drag down bear onto Lil Dan. Lil Dan did end up air dodging, uh, but Mook did have to hit him with his recovery on the way up. But it didn't matter just because of how much uh, aura that yeah. Lil Dan has anyway. He's going to recover from pretty much anywhere on the screen at this point. Back throw? No. I, I just I would have went for the back throw there from uh, Sharp. He wanted to try to confirm it to something to Lil Dan, but he was just not in a good position for it. He's going to toss him up. We're going to see Bobby Wasabi sticking to the side of the stage where the Hill's gonna go down onto Lil Dan. Lil Dan now on his final stock. Same thing for Mook, but Bobby Wasabi has yet yeah. to kill. That's that's the thing. Bobby, I think this stage is like, it could be bad for Villager, but at the same time, Villager can live for so long on the stage if you cannot kill him. Oh, and even that, not yeah. enough to KO. Bobby Wasabi doing the Lord's work here and staying <laughs> alive for as long as possible. Oh, and there we go, that's gonna be a hit. Not gonna be a KO though, but more damage racked up onto the blue team. And look how big that aura spirit was, man. Yeah. It's only at 74%, but they're down by quite a hefty amount now, and that with the pirate comes into play as well. Well, at least at least Bobby had a stock to share with Moon. So now uh, it'll be one stock piece for Red Team. But now this is actually this is actually pretty doable for Blue Team. Uh, well I spoke too soon. Yeah, it's like even, question mark, but it's, it's not going to take stock, which yeah. I don't approve of. Now, granted, Sharp does have kind of the higher peaks as a player, so maybe the mindset is, all right, I'll have the better player sit here, but in teams, especially when skilled people are yeah, alive, a, a partner I think is a always the do. way to go. Always yeah. the way to go. This is uh, this is definitely a hard this is a hard hit for a uh, blue team right now. They After game one, they were looking really good, and then game two was just not it. Uh, this is, this is definitely a scary position. Both these characters just have tools to oppress Wolf offstage super hard, but and Sharp knows that, and that's why he's just kind of running around them right now. But he doesn't have the highest jumps, and he doesn't have the best air mobility, so he can kind of get caught. Yeah, no, granted, he has... Yeah, no, this is percent. This is hard percent, too. That's the thing about Game & Watch as well. His ability to juggle is very uncommittal. He just throws out that up air, and he's chilling. He's not putting himself at risk when he throws out the disjointed hitbox. It's kind of like a projectile in that sense. So now, you know, he's trying to find his way back down. He's struggling, taking a lot of percent. He's trying to do so at 110 now, and we should see him die here. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, he oh. hit him with it anyway. Yeah. That's going to be a 2-1 coming out from Mook and Bobby over uh, Lil Dan and Sharp. Yeah, that was kind of, uh, I don't know. I really don't know what happened. That first game seemed to go swimmingly, and then game two, game three, body bags. It really didn't seem 
I don't know. I guess game three was a little bit closer. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, just even looking at it, man, like, I don't I don't know. Game like, two, there was super adaptation there. 